ovarian stromal flow is a bit of a learning curve because there you have to measure the flow in the vessel which is the brightest, which is in the middle of the stroma, which is not close to the follicle and it is also away from the hilar plane. Once you locate the ovary and you switch on the color box, the color box should be large enough to include the entire ovary and then as you see the color, that is when you will scroll across to find out a vessel in the long axis which can be traced outside the ovary which means it is the follicle which is it, it is that means that it is a vessel which is entering the ovary from outside which means it is an ovarian artery or it is a ovarian branch of the uterine artery or sometimes both as you can see here may be intermingled that plane is called the hilar plane from this plane you need to scroll your probe away gently looking at the other color spots in the stroma and once you have lost the vision of the hilar vessels that is when you can pick up any vessels which are right in the middle of the stroma and are brightest and measure the flow by the spectral doppler in these vessels when there are multiple vessels and you have taken multiple measurements that is when you can select the vessel that has the lowest ri and the highest psv and that is your stromal flow